Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming back at ya. We just got back from Michigan, uh, and this is gonna be our test route two with 10.11.2. And uh, supposedly this coming week, some at some point, we're gonna get the next version. And we'll just kinda see how it does going home. Um, I'm actually gonna stop past all these, so I will make a slight detour and we'll get some bonus footage uh, on that. But uh, I'm just gonna see. Unfortunately, I did not uh, get any recording done on the trip. It's just uh, we're in a r rural, like central Michigan, where it's all farmland, and it takes like five, like several miles. Well, maybe maybe it's like five miles uh, of just straight flat road before you get into the town, and then it's like one turn to get to your destination. So it's not anything super interesting. A couple times I made a zero disengagement drive there, um, and all that type of stuff, but there's a, really it wasn't anything special, um, so I just didn't bother making a video. The, let's make sure it looks here, yep, so that's the disengagement. <laughs> yeah, see that's what this version does, um, this version and all the other 10.11 versions did that where it just kind of would not check for traffic. Elon said that 10.12 should be better with, at that. So we'll see. Um, it's been in development for over a month now, so it's supposed to be apparently a pretty substantial update. And we'll see how that works for us uh, once we get it. But yeah, the only really notes about driving around rural uh, Michigan is that uh, we, I was on a road that was 55 mile an hour. Um, so you're going between 55 and 60 mile an hour on the road. And it comes up as a blinking four way with stop signs um, on the road as we approach town. And it, um, that wasn't a disengagement. Why is it? It must be this extra traffic up here. Interesting. I've never had a route that way to go home. You can go that way. That's not the way I want to go. Anyways, um, I was trying to say it um, was not going to stop at that four way. Uh, if it did, it was going to jam on the brakes and like. It, not a comfortable stop at all. It, it was so I had to disengage both times. I went through that, had to disengage. So it, it doesn't do a good job looking far ahead uh, at stoplights yet. Do I believe they're going to improve that? They're going to have to. Uh, like that's not unacceptable to, at higher speeds to not see a light blinking up ahead and be able to stop in time at a smooth rate of deceleration. Like right now, the slide's right up ahead. It should already be slowing down, but it's not. Now it's slowing down. Like, was it uncomfortable? Not really. But as a human, that I can see the light's red and I'm still moving forward at full speed, it's not super comfortable. Um, and so it just has to look ahead further and make make these adjustments up up ahead sooner. Now I'm hoping that's not a limitation of camera capabilities or processing power. If it is, we're gonna get upgrades because that has to happen um, to give us uh, a actual full self-driving experience. It has to be able to read those lights up ahead. That's good, it didn't stop for that stop sign there, or try to stop rather. Um, that always seems every other version seems to come and go. But this version it didn't stop, next version it might try and stop again. Let's see what it does here. It's going too fast into this intersection. But that seemed to be good. It's not gonna change lanes here yet. I have to manually change the lanes to get it to go go over. It will just kind of merge and squeeze into this lane, which is what it should it shouldn't be doing that. Let this car go past me. Good. Well, I wanted it to get over in the side of the cancel it. Um, it's 
probably going to mess up on this corner again because the map data is not up to date uh, for this turn lane. This turn lane you see up here on the right for the school is not on this map data. See? That's a disengagement. And it does not need a uh, blinker on this. As well as it's no longer 35 here. It is a 20 mile an hour speed limit. Until we pass this sign, then it goes to 20. Which, of course, no one goes 20 in this. It's always 30 mile an hour if you're in this area. What it's likely to do here, and it's done this the last several versions, is cross over the solid white line. Which it did it this time, good. So it should be turning the blinker on. Good, so that's improved. It's still not gonna read this 20 mile an hour speed limit side. You can see it show up on the screen. But it just doesn't read it until we get down here where the map data updates. Now it's set to 20. This is every time I'm looking. I don't know what their logic is, why it reads some speed limit signs and it doesn't read others. That's what, that's one of the things I'm looking for. That's the tangible improvement we're looking for for it to read that speed limit sign as soon as it passes it. Preferably right before it. It should notice that speed and then start slowing down if it's going 35 mile an hour before it gets to the sign. And again, this is why there used to be a speed limit sign right, right here, and for some reason the sign got taken down. But it's, a four, it's now 45 mile an hour, right, where it changed. Um, it should be speeding up to that speed, not just going 20 mile an hour creeping through that light right there. Okay, so I actually need to get over um, to that disengagement because I need to actually get around this car. Um, I'm going to all these, so we're not going to count that. It's just, this is a straight road. It's not going to fail on that. Um, but I just had to get over in this lane here. So what I'm actually going to do is, uh, I'm going to just can't, pause the video here and get us back once we're going out of all these. Okie dokie, everyone. Let's see how it does here. This is kind of bonus footage. Full self-driving is still kind of up. Okay, then it's see the car off to the right. And every time it gets too close to the curb there. In 500 feet, turn left onto Four Seasons Boulevard. In terms of like our record, I guess, of this route. I'm not going to even count these. I'm not even going to put them in the notes below, I guess. Because I, what I want to do is look back at our history. Now, that was a full-on disengagement. It's still doing this again. Like, the planner is go it's not good. As simple as that. Oh, okay. And I'm going to manually drive right here. Okay, so... I That light is very long, so I wanted to get through that and not have a full soul drive into it. So we're not going to count the whole section in terms of like record, but as you can see, it it no longer could do it. It didn't do it right. Um, let's go ahead and get us back and back going on our route test route two here. And kind of just swerved over to get into the uh, into the lane there. I don't know if it's ever done that, but again, it still needs to get over in this lane a little bit sooner. traffic scenarios that could just mean city streets. Again, we'll see.
final turn of the drive. Um, as you can see, not a perfect drive because of that poor map data. Again, it relies too heavily on map data. That truck could have been, well, you can't see it. This truck that right there could have been coming um, this way and the car shouldn't, wouldn't have known that because the blinker on that truck wasn't on. Um, and it just should not have gone, basically, it should have waited. But uh, yeah, that drive was average. We're gonna ha hopefully look for some big updates. We'll see if I'm gonna do the crazy hill test uh, later this week. We'll see how this week goes. Um, getting back from a week off work that might or might not happen. We'll see. Uh, as always, I appreciate everyone watching. I hope to get back in the routine of getting some videos out every week. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone. Bye.